It's always a key indicator of investors' view of Greece. So German debt yields adding to their biggest jump in almost three years is surely a good sign. Greek stocks too were up for a third day. It's all down to a flurry of document swapping between Greece and its lenders. After weeks of political posturing, they're getting down to the nitty-gritty, with both sides putting a deal on paper. Richard Hunter is from Hargreaves Lansdowne. There is such political will in the EU uh, not to um, admit to any sort of failure, including the uh, exit of a member state, that that political will has enabled Greece to keep its own strong bargaining position. So I think the general feeling at the moment is a deal of some nature will still be reached. Greece's Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras wouldn't say if he'd given in on key pension and wage reforms as he headed off to Brussels for new talks. But his party did say Greece wouldn't make its 300 million euro debt repayment to the IMF on Friday if there's no prospect of an aid for reform deal soon. So does that mean Greece could default? They actually have a something of a, a grace period of, of several weeks until they actually have to pay. What will be of equal concern, of course, is the subsequent payments uh, which Greece are due to pay both to the EU as well as the IMF. So the pressure is likely to rumble on for some time yet. For Greeks, any agreement can't come too soon. This issue must close now, once and for all. We must set our conditions and they can take it or leave it. We will not be bullied by other countries. I think we've reached our limits and now it's time for it to end. A mutually beneficial solution must be found. But that's easier said than done. What the Greek government calls a comprehensive reform proposal may be viewed entirely differently by its lenders.